Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr. Telephone, and this is my YouTube video about how to repair a broken cable. So let's say now if you've been doing a bit of gardening and you've cut through the external cable, you can use this little repair joint and it will, it will uh, repair it nicely for you. So uh, let me just open it up and show it to you. These are really good qualities. These, this is made by Tyco. Uh, it's made in, uh, it's an American company. It's well made. It's a lovely little joint and it's full of gel to make it waterproof. So once you repair the cable and put it in here and when you close the lid, it will be nice and sealed and waterproof and it should last, uh, it should last really as long as the cable does or as long as the connectors does. So uh, it's, a, it's, it's a lovely little thing, nice and compact, nice and small and it's not going to be really unsightly when you're, uh, you know, if it's on the front of your house, it's not going to look as nice as just the cable but, you know, it's uh, if you've cut the cable there's not a lot you can do unless you replace the whole cable so it's a nice little nice little joint i'm just going to show you quickly how you uh, how you do it so i, I sell these on my ebay shop and uh, i sell them with 10 little telephone crimps now i've already done a video on these jelly crimps to show how to use them they're really straightforward you just push the wires in and you shut the lid down and uh, that's it it connects the two wires together so i'm not going to go into detail on that because i've already done a youtube video on the jelly crimps but i'm just going to show you how to use this uh, this nice little repair joint so, pretend this is the cable, and you've cut it by doing a bit of gardening or doing a bit of building work and you've cut the cable, so you now need to repair it. First thing you need to do is you need to get a bit of slack. If there's no slack, you're not going to be able to repair it. You're going to have to use two of these or replace the cable. So you're either going to have to use one here, short bit of cable, and another one, or it's probably better to just to replace the cable if you can do that. But if you can get the slack, so you might be able to get uh, a slack from a bit of bit of a corner, you know, a few meters along, you, you're going to need a bit of slack. You're going to need about that much to be able to repair the joint. Okay, so I've already stripped this one back here, and I'm just going to strip this one back now. This is drop wire cable, but you can repair other te telephone cable as well. Drop wire cable is hard to work with. Okay, so that's that. Now we just cut away the support wires as they're not needed. And the drawstring. You can always use the drawstring to strip back the cable. Again, I've talked about that in one of my other videos, but I know with this tool here that I haven't damaged the internal wiring. So what you need to do is, if you have a look down here, you will need to push the cable so that the butt of the cable here goes past this area here into the gel. So push that down hard, like that. Okay, and then you do the same on the other side. That is really the, you can see how sticky the gel is, it's fantastic. These are really, really good quality joints. You push that in there. Drop wire cable is about five millimeters in diameter. You can see that you will be able to probably get away with cables that are four meters in, four millimeters in diameter, and you may get away with cables that are ever so slightly bigger, maybe just up to six, but any more than that, and it's not gonna fit in there. I mean, these are designed for telephone cables. So we want to join like for like. Now there's not a huge amount of room in there, so if possible, try to stagger your joints a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna use the white one over this side. If you were just to put all the joints together, then you might find it quite hard to bend them, bend them and fit them in. If you do them like this, you'll find it's easier. Now, you push, push it right the way down so the wires go all the way to the end of the crimp, and then close them. You can use normal pliers, like I explained in my uh, video about the jelly crimps, but it is easier if you have one of these. Now, there we go, that one's nicely buried. So now we're gonna use the other one here. Now, although you might only have the one telephone line and it might be just running down the white and oranges, you, uh, you may as well connect up all the wires because then in the future, if you, ever, if you ever do have a second line, then the engineer is not gonna have to go into this little joint to push the wires through. So it's always good practice just to push all the wires through. Okay, so that's the second one. I 
this is probably a bit boring watching this, but I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay, so now we're on the greens. Again, all the wires are pushing, getting pushed right the way to the end of the crimp. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the wires go all the way to the end. Again, the wires right the way to the end of the crimp, crimp them shut, push it into the gel. And basically, when we close this lid now, so that's all the all the wires in there. And you can already see the the gel the the jelly crimps have gel in them already, so they're nice and waterproof inside. Now they're surrounded by gel. There's also gel all in the lid as well. So when we put that down, it will be completely submerged in this waterproof gel, and it's not going to go anywhere. That's it. There we go. Clip it down like that, and that is it. That is completely waterproof, nice and strong and that will be your telephone line fixed. So it's nice and easy, it's a really nice little joint. You can get back into it again by using a screwdriver and just levering it up. It will be a bit messy when you go into it the second time because all the gel will have stuck everywhere. But uh, this really is a, a great bit of kit, a nice, good quality, uh, made by Tyco, good, good, good quality. Uh, I use these all the time, they're really, really good and they're very reliable. If you want to get these, they're about, I think they're about £11 in my eBay shop. Uh, so if you go to www.mrtelephone.co.uk and that will link you through to my eBay shop and it will allow, allow you to buy these. I think the listing is called Waterproof Repair Joints. So if you type in Waterproof Repair Joints into my eBay shop, you will, uh, you will see them. Uh, that's it. They will obviously work on telephone lines all around the world. I currently ship them to the UK, France and Ireland. But you, know, you will probably find other sellers that are willing to sell them worldwide. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if, uh, if you subscribe, then I will be doing more how-to videos in the future with the products I sell. Thanks a lot for your time. Take care. Bye now.